The coordinate plane is going to be the framework for much of your future in your math career. What may be different this year than what you're used to is seeing all four quadrants in it where we're plotting negatives on the coordinate plane. Go ahead and draw that coordinate plane. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to have graph paper, but do try to use a straight edge to draw your axis. Use another piece of notebook paper, the edge of a notebook. If you have a ruler, that's great. You don't have to have anything to measure with, just as long as it's a straight edge of something. Try to make your tick marks even. On notebook paper for your vertical axis, your Y axis, you can use the lines on your notebook paper. And then just try to eyeball it to make your x-axis even. Go ahead and pause the video to finish drawing your axis. We're going to label the key components of that coordinate plane. First, the x-axis. It's the horizontal one. Go ahead and turn your arms horizontal. Nobody's there to watch you so that you have that muscle memory and you associate the x-axis with the horizontal axis. We're going to label that on your coordinate plane. Second, we're going to label the y-axis. Again, make a vertical line with your arms. This is your y-axis. You're going to be doing this in class anyway. I'm going to be asking you about that, saying, okay, put your hands up. So do it now in the privacy of your own home. The y-axis is vertical. It's this one up here. To help you remember this, the letter y is a more vertical letter. That's the way that I remember it. You also have the origin. It's where the coordinates are 0, 0. It's where the axis cross. You're familiar with the word origin because you know that means like the beginning spot of things if you go back to the origin. We need to label your axis to see what each dash mark is um, representing. And so I'm going to make each dash mark worth one, but in order to not make my coordinate plane too cluttered, I'm only going to label every other one. You'll notice going down is negative, going to the right is positive as going up is positive and left is negative. Next we're going to label the quadrant. The prefix quad means four. If you think about quadruplets, you have four babies. Or if you're in the marching band, if you play the quad, you have four drums at your hips. Now, we normally start in the top left when we're reading, but when you are doing the coordinate plane and you're naming the quadrants, they make a C when you label them. Quadrant 1 is in the top right. In the introduction, I said you were used to quadrant 1 in graphing and likely not the other three quadrants because this is where your numbers are positive. Your X coordinate is positive and your Y coordinate is positive. In quadrant two, your x values are negative, your y values are positive. If a coordinate falls in quadrant three, both your x coordinate and your y coordinate are negative. And quadrant four, your x is positive, your y's are negative. Having this diagram nearby will be very helpful to you because you can check to make sure that you have graphed a point in the correct quadrant by looking to see what its signs are. Is it negative positive or positive negative or negative negative? This will be very helpful for you. So let's look at the ordered pair. Negative 4, positive 2. Negative 4 is the x coordinate. 2 is the y coordinate. Since it's a negative and then a positive, I already know that it's going to fall in quadrant 2. So let's go about graphing it. You're going to start at the beginning. You're going to start at the origin. 
You're going to move with the x coordinate first because x comes before y in the alphabet. I'm going to move to negative 4, so I go left 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I'm going to go up 2 since it's positive, and that's the y coordinate, 1, 2. So my point goes right here. And you can label that point negative 4, 2. There are two skills that I want you to learn in this lesson. I want you to be able to plot points, and I want you to be able to name points. So, the first one in part A is 3, 0. That means you're going to go 3 to the right, 1, 2, 3. And there's no vertical move because the Y coordinate is 0. So, it's going to be plotted on the X axis, 3, 0. For B, negative 4, 5, you're going to go 4 to the left and 5 up. Start at the origin, 4 to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, and up 5. One, two, three, four, five. For C, two, six, you're going to go two right and six up. Over two, up, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, six. And let's go ahead and name the quadrants that these are in. Point A, it's not in a quadrant. So how you would label it is you would say it's on the x-axis. For point B, negative 4, 5, that is in quadrant 1, 2. And for point C, 2, 6, that is in quadrant 1. Now let's name points. The points W, X, Y, and Z are already graphed on this coordinate plane. And by the way, that needed to be drawn in your notes. Don't get lazy on me and not draw the coordinate plane. If you need to, you pause the video and you draw it. If you haven't done it, pause the video now. So for W, start at the origin. I'm going to have to go left, 5, and I'm going to go down, 2. So its coordinate is negative 5 negative 2. Notice that the point is located where the point is, not the letter that's naming it. Uh, coordinate x, uh, it's up here. So I'm going to go right 6 and up 1. Right and up are both positive, so it's positive 6, positive 1. For y, it's on the y-axis. I'm going to go 0 for my x because there is no horizontal change, but I'm going to go down 6. And point z is over here in the second quadrant. We're going to go left 3 and up 3. Negative 3, 3. Now for practicing. Again, go ahead and draw this coordinate plane. Draw another coordinate plane. And then try to name the coordinates and the quadrant of each point and graph each coordinate. Looks like I didn't plot these in the first place. Let's pick a spot for A and B. We'll put point A right there and... Point B right there. Okay, now you can practice it.
Okay, for practice A, point A, its location is right 2 of 5. So it's positive 2, positive 5, and it's located in quadrant 1. B is over down here. You're going to go left 4 and down 2, so it's negative 4, negative 2, and it is in quadrant 1, 2, 3. To graph each coordinate, 3, negative 4, remember your Excuse me, you're always starting at the origin, so over 3, 1, 2, 3, and down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, at 3, negative 4. For negative 4, 0, you're going left 4, and there's no vertical change for 0, so it lies on the x-axis. For 5, 1, you're going 5 right and up 1, and it lands in the first quadrant. And f is negative 2, negative 5, so you go left 2 and up 5. There it is. I may have spoken and said negative 2, negative 5. That is negative 2, positive 5, which is why it goes up there.